Okay folks, hopefully I'm right. This is the last demo for the day. Let's see if we can make this one turn up a treat. Just trying to decide which one to use, folks. Oh, my tummy just rumbled. Oh, yes, I haven't had my lunch. I've been too busy on the demos. So, yeah, I've got to remind myself to have some lunch when I'm finished. Anyway, we got here what's known to me as a snorty magazine. So we're interested in this person. And this is an interesting, nice big picture of a face, which I like. I'm just going to put it up in the... I think we're going A3 to A4. So we're just going to put her up in the top there, in the top corner. Try and make this into something nice. Anyway, that's come up looking quite nice, interesting, uh, very bouncy. She's bouncing around a lot. Uh, I'm going to maybe enlarge that off there and make this into a nice uh, mirror image. Maybe we'll leave it on. Okay, we're just going to take this piece and turn it into something more interesting, more complete. So we've got this face bouncing around on the image so just line that up at the edge there and there don't know how it's going to look That looks really nice. The colour in that looks brilliant. Uh, overall, I don't like that little bit on her teeth um, with the pink. But apart from that, it looks really nice. Uh, maybe we could make it a bit smaller on the horizontal. She looks interesting. She looks quite comical in that image. We'll go 140 by 140. See what we get.
Yeah, that looks better. We've got her head just at the bottom there, which is what we want. Uh, I do like that overall image. I wish there was less cut off there, but it may not be such a bad thing. Okay, out it comes. That's our second piece. She looks like she's just bouncing around. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, our black toner cartridge is still just in play. There's no indication. Don't know why. Yeah, occasionally that does happen with photocopiers. Like, components like toner sensors can go faulty. So I wouldn't be surprised if maybe it's a faulty toner sensor. But I don't know why it hasn't run out. It hasn't indicated yet. Could be a faulty toner sensor for all I know. Just happens every now and then these things go wrong. Anyway, enough of that. That's come up looking a treat. I think now we can call this demo quits.